Welcome back to Jersey Matters. We are now more than halfway through our post-pandemic summer and businesses, especially businesses at the Jersey Shore, are struggling still to get people to come back to work. Jersey Matters, Kimberly Kravitz, talk to some Jersey Shore business owners. Kimberly. While New Jersey's economic recovery continues, the state alongside the nation combats a huge labor shortage. And we see business owners operating on overwhelming demand on skeleton crews. So why is it still so tough to get people back to work? We're offering 401k plans, paid benefits. Um, we pay overtime. We give a week's paid sick time, a week's paid vacation time. I mean, we're doing everything we can do to entice people to come back to work. Business owners like Amy Weiss are frustrated with more children having to return to daycare and not enough staff to cover the classrooms. We were well staffed in the beginning. Then there were all sorts of incentives through unemployment. So people stopped working. They wanted to work part time to be able to collect unemployment. Unemployment benefits are keeping the pocketbooks of New Jersey residents full, giving them no incentive to return to work. Whether it was 600 extra or 300 extra, you know, whether it was somebody that worked in a restaurant or, you know, they were in, uh, they made sales or things like that, they, they were making more money during the pandemic than ever before. Why, what's the incentive to, to go back to work? New Jersey has paid out $31.4 billion in unemployment benefits, and in June, the state gained more than 16,000 jobs, according to the latest data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. And yet, the unemployment rate is at 7.3%. We have the highest unemployment rate in the nation. However, small businesses in New Jersey are eligible for another round of grant money to help recover from the pandemic. NJBIA's Michelle Sakurka says it may keep businesses afloat, but may still be tough to grow. We know that over 70 percent of New Jersey businesses said that it's going to take them a year or more to get back to equilibrium, meaning that their revenue is going to equal their expense. They're all working right now, you know, really hanging on by a shoestring. Uh, some of those won't ever come back. The restaurant industry is feeling the effects of the labor shortage, too, with minimal staff and plenty of patrons. Luckily, people have been very generous, and that's really nice to know that there's still people out there that are coming out here and appreciating what we're doing. And we try to show that in return tenfold. People are on vacation. They want to be on the beach and not waiting online for sandwiches and not waiting online and having two hour waits in restaurants and then waiting 45 minutes at their table to get their dinner. I, it's uh, it's hard. I just want to remind them that everybody is working way too many hours. I mean, I have people working 60 hours a week for me and uh, you know, just please appreciate that they're really running around and for every table like you, there's another 25 tables that are asking them for something. So please be respectful and additionally be appreciative. And in the coming weeks, business owners tell me that they fear the problem will only intensify as their seasonal workers return back to school. Reporting for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.